Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In this video, we are going to explain the pin configuration of the LCD liquid crystal display. How the these pins work and how potential motors are attached and power is applied to the LCD, like this LCD ones. This LCD has about 16 pins, and each pins pin has its own function. For example, this first pin is VSS. The second is VDD, third is V0, and in some LCD there may be VEE, then is RS, read-write uh, pins, enable pins, then D0, D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6 are the data pins, and the last two pin A is for anode uh, in case we got a thought. Mm. So how these pins work, what, what are the functions of this pin? So this is the L16 cross 2 LCD, it means there are two lines, and 16, there are 16 columns and two lines are there and the background direction there are resistors and you can connect wires here to the LCD and these four holes are for uh, fitting on the uh, project board so let's get started how it works the first pin of the LCD is the VSS this pin should be grounded. The first pin is VSS. VSS should be grounded. The second pin is VDD. So here is the schematic diagram of the uh, 16 cross 2 LCD and 4 bit mode. We are using this LCD and the 4 bit modes. As there are uh, uh, 16 about, there are 16 columns. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This pin, there are 16 columns. Uh, no, so 1, 2, 3, 16 columns and 2 lines are there. 2 lines are there. This, that's why it is called 16 cross 2. There may be a city of 16 cross 1, 16 cross 3, 16 cross 4, cross 4 city may be obtained, may be bought um, from the uh, market. So, this the first pin is for VSS. This pin must be at low state uh, or grounded. The second is VDD, is connected to the plus 5 volt power supply. And the third is V0 is the for the LCD display contrast. Uh, contrast pin is there. Uh, this pin is uh, connected between the uh, VDD. Uh, they must be connected with um, their near a potentiometer, the, like that. Uh, one side of the uh, potentiometer should be connected to the plus 5 volts power supply, and the second one should be connected to the grounded. Then the, the middle one is attached to the V or V0 of the LCD by rotating the potentiometer knob this knob by rotating this knob the voltage on this pins can be changed from 0 volt to 5 volt so you can use the 10 kilo ohm potentiometer with LCD like here we have used this knob uh, this one connected for example to the uh, VDD this one is for uh, the red one is connected to the VDD and the green is connected to the the yellow one is connected to the VSS are bonded the green is connected to the V0 here so by turning the twisting the potentiometer you can see contrast is changed the visibility is changed now and this one it may be dim or it may be prior to this one dark and light you can change according to the visibility you have to adjust and set away that the characters and the numbers are visible in the LCD so this one the potentiometer by this one with this way you can change so this is the function of this pin V0 or some LCD it may be VEE pin may be connected in this way or by using the potentiometer so this is the voltage contrast voltage rs pin is the r stand for register uh, s select register select pin uh, register select pin is used in two modes uh, when rs pin is in uh, i state then it is used for data and order to send data to rcd we have to uh, uh, connect this rs pin with plus 5 volt a logic I state when you are using the uh, LCD and the command mode 
you have to clear the RS pin or you have to connect RS pin with ground ARBS pin RS should be grounded or it should be low state so this is the RS state function and the next pin is the read write pin or read write pin of the LCD this pin should be connected it may be used in two state when our read write pin is grounded uh, the LED the LCD will be in writing mode then we are writing to the LCD when our read write pin is uh, logic I state or grounded to when read write pin is connected to plus 5 volt power supply then LED will be reading from it means we are reading for example then we are reading the content of the LED when read write pin is equal to 1 but generally we are uh, generally using the read write pin uh, we are using the LED in the writing mode so this pin should must be grounded is the enable pins when we uh, write some data on this uh, pins data pins when we give pulse on the enable pins then the data will be shifted to the LCD for example data is present here and this pins when E becomes equal to 1 then we give delay then we become equal to 0 the data will be shifted to the LCD ship registers then it will be, uh, become visible on the LCD as this LCD is 8 bits 8 data bits but uh, uh, generally we are using in the 4 bit mode we are using only the most significant bit D4, D5, D6, D7 we are using the only the most significant bits of the LCD uh, we can use the 8 bits all the 8 bits 8 pins of the LCD but uh, in order to save the pins of the microcontroller we use the only 4 pins of the LCD mode the last 2 pins A A is connected to plus 5 volt but this voltage is must, uh, this resistance is must. You can use 1 kilo ohm, 2 kilo ohm, from you can use from 100 ohms to 10 kilo ohms resistor in order to save the background light. This was the background light, yes, you can see. Uh, this uh, power uh, background light is visible. So when we, uh, when A disconnected, this way, no background light is off. When this is connected to plus 5 volt power supply, as you can see. Uh, background light is on. There is some resistor here. You can see. No. The background light is on. According to your need, you can turn on the LED, background LED, or turn off the LED. And the last pin is K, is K third, which be, which which must be grounded in order to turn on the LED um, of the LCD, background light of the LCD. So how to write? You know how to write. For example, we want to write one on the LCD. What should we do? Uh, for simplicity, for example, let we want to write one on the LCD. Uh, we must uh, use the ASCII code. As is the ASCII code of the one is about zero cross three one. ASCII code of one. And which in the binary system, when the when the zero cross three one is the hexadecimal system, hexadecimal state, it is zero cross three is the hexadecimal format. When this number is converted to the binary numbers system, it will become equal to one one zero zero and zero 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 one. The first four bits are the most significant nibble, and the last four bits are the least significant bit. And the first bit is the least significant bit, and the, this first one is the most significant bit, and the last one is the least significant bit. And in order to write one on the LCD, we have to because we are using the LCD in four bit mode, then first we have to send the most significant bit. For example, first we have to send one, then again one, then zero, then zero, then we have to give the enable pulse. After that, we have to send zero, then zero, then zero, one, then we have to give enable pulse to the LCD will be reversed. For example, first we have to give 1 because this one is the most significant bit. We have to write to 1 on the D7 then next one D6 then 0, 0 is the most significant bit. Then we have to go past the LCD then we have to write E is equal to then we have to write E in the logic I state 
then give uh, we must give some delay after that we have to ground uh, this enable uh, enable pin and have to shift the data to the lcd after that we have to send the low significant uh, nibble for that we have to send zero then again zero then zero then one this way mm, this because this one is the most significant bit most significant number but this row should be right to, right to the dc1 then zero should be next zero to the d6 then next zero uh, to the d5 then one should be d4 then we have to give the uh, enable then we have to enable the pins this enable pins then number one will be uh, becomes appear on the lct so here we have written uh, for example we have to write one on the lct rs must be equal to logic i state then we have to send more significant build the uh, most significant enable uh, bits then we have to go to enable enables pulse this is the pulse e becomes equal to one we have to write e1 then we have to delay, delay about one millisecond then we have to ground it e or we have to um, uh, uh, we have to brought e and the logic low state after that this one is the most significant bit and let's write the lowest significant bit enables rs must be equal to one then we have to write rs low significant bit we have to give enables bit enable pulse e is equal to one then we have to give delay some uh, one millisecond then we have to write enable is equal to zero so the number one will appear on the lcd on the first line if you want to write a then we have to ask code for a zero cross four one and we want to write b then we have to write the ski code for b zero cross four two we have to convert in the binary system like one then we have to uh, shift this number to the lcd then b will be a will be appear here b will be appear here and this one this first line will be completed so here we can see protocol of this lcd has been uh, interfaced with the pic microcontroller here for example this is the pic microcontroller we need pic microcontroller in order to write um, the characters or words on the lcd uh, microcontroller has different pins you can connect any four pins for data and other uh, pins like these pins uh, rs pin e pins uh, of the microcontroller and order to write like here to uh, write a character on the LCD here plus 5 volt and 46 volt has been applied to the microcontroller LED is blinking it means LCD is being connected interfaced with microcontroller by the um, parallel combination uh, and we have used uh, under in order to show the time on the LCD we must use DS1307 RT real time clock RTC means real time clock in order to show the real time on the LCD. Mm. So we must write code in the microcontroller. For writing code in the microcontroller, we need a software. It's called MPLF XIDE, and uh, and, co and we, do, we need a book. We must. You can download a book of programming pic microcontroller. Uh, then which we have to we can interface the LCD. LCD with the microcontroller. We can write codes from the book. And we have to install by the picket 3 in the, in the microcontroller and then we have to connect it the pins different pins the micro with the with the lcd liquid crystal display so what you want to write on the lcd you can write on the lcd so this is the brief introduction to the pin configuration of the lcd and how to write codes uh, uh, if you want to write codes on the on the LCD, you can you have to uh, you you should subscribe our channel of DCCPN, in which we have explained in the previous video, in the video how to write codes for the interfacing of LCD with PIC 16F887 using MPLAB XID and XC8 um, NXC8 uh, compiler. So thank you for watching our video.